Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now in the previous video, we discussed about the differences between the nested if and the switch function. We saw that how the switch function is different from the nested if and which is better. If you have not checked this video, then I have put up the link on the top of this video. You can see this video. It is very, very informative. Now in this video, I'll be showing you the AND function which is another logical function. And I'll also show you that how we can use the AND function along with the IF function. So let us start with the practical part. So here I'm having the same example which I used in the previous video. We are having the marks of the students. These are out of 100. Now here I have to get the result. Now here the result that we saw in the previous example, that is if the marks are less than 40, then it should show you the fail as a result. If the marks are greater than 40, then it should show you pass. If the marks are greater than 60, then it should show you the result first class. If the marks are greater than 70, then it should show you the result distinction. This is the condition that we are having here. So I'll be using these four conditions here in this area. So first of all, I'll show you that how we can uh, use the nested if here again just a quick overview and then I'll show you that how we can use the AND function here. So in this cell that is C12 cell, I'll be typing here equal to if press tab will be going for the nested if concept. So if this B12 is greater than equal to 70 comma, then it should show me the result here distinction comma. Now I'll be putting another if condition if then I have to use the same B12. If B12 is greater than or equal to 60, comma, then it should show me the result here, first class. If it is not greater than or equal to 60, then it should check here another if condition. If B12 is greater than or equal to 40, if it is true, then it should show me the result here, pass, comma. And if it is not greater than even 40 also, then it should show me the result here, fail. Bracket complete, one more bracket complete, one more bracket complete. So this is the nested if little bit. It is very complex. Now I press enter. Now here I'm getting the error. Let me see again. See here. I have not put the comma. Now I press enter. Now I'm getting here the result distinction. So I drag the formula down. This is perfect. First class fail pass distinction and pass. Let us identify the problem here. See here the marks are given out of 100. Suppose if I'm the data entry operator instead of 85, if I type here 185. Now see this is wrong yeah because of my error if i press enter here what i'm getting here answer distinction yeah even if these marks are more than 100 it is still showing me the result distinction which is wrong here it will show me some error but currently i'm getting here distinction this is one issue now let us focus on let's say this cell 35 now instead of 35 35 is failed this is correct but instead of 35 if i type here minus 35 suppose by mistake minus 35 now see definitely you will not get minus 35 minimum you will get zero only out of 100 let's say by mistake i type here minus 35 press enter so see even if i have typed here minus 35 still it is showing me the answer fail which is wrong yeah here it will show me some error or some invalid text here so this is the problem so what we do that let me remove this 85 okay i keep it here 85 i keep it here again 35 so this is fine now we will go for the another condition here so here i have created one table let us understand this table so here we are having two criteria criteria number one and criteria number two so if the marks are greater than or equal to zero and less than 40 then it should give you the result fail if the marks are greater than or equal to 40 and less than 60 then it should show you the result pass class or pass if the marks are greater than or equal to 60 and less than 70 then it should show you the result first class if the marks are greater than or equal to 70 and less than or equal to 100 then it should show you the result distinction and if the marks are less than zero or greater than 100 then it should show you the invalid so now let us rewrite this formula again here i will remove this formula now i'll type here by using these two criteria now see here for fail what is the criteria here that it should be greater than or equal to zero and less than 40 so there are two criteria which i have to fulfill so that's why we have to use here the and function in and function we can check two conditions or three conditions or 100 conditions also but all condition has to be fulfilled so here it is written the AND function in Microsoft Excel is a logical function used to test multiple conditions at the same time. It returns true 
if all conditions are true so if i'm having let's say two conditions then both the condition has to be satisfied not one or two both the condition has to be fulfilled then it is true if any of the condition is false then it should show me here false so let us type here now again the formula equal to if now i can start with this first criteria that the marks are greater than equal to zero and less than 40 so equal to if now see i have to check both the condition so after equal to if bracket i type here and function check out this and function press tab now in the and function i can write down here logical one logical two logical three and so on so i'll select this cell b12 if b12 is greater than equal to zero comma yeah, i am putting here semicolon you put comma comma then i type here again b12 you can also select that cell again b12 is less than 40 so these are the two criteria for the fail that it should be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 40 bracket complete very very important bracket complete this bracket i have completed for the end function so see in the if function we have to write down the logical test then value if true and value if false so this is my whole thing is my logical test then i put here comma now after comma i have to write down here value if true so if this is true then what should be the result the result has to be double quote fail because if the marks are between 0 and less than 40 then it should be giving the result fail comma now i have to write down here value if false so now we can go for the nested if here so again i type here if press tab i write down here again and function and now in the end function i have to check the second condition whether the marks are between 40 and 60 so and i select here b12 greater than equal to 40 comma i type here directly b12 is less than 60 bracket complete please check the brackets here so this bracket we have completed for end function comma now if the marks are between 40 and less than 60 then it should give me the result what pass comma now again i have to go for the third condition here that is if press tab and now in the if function i have to again type here b12 if b12 is greater than equal to 60 comma b12 is less than 70 bracket complete now i have to check whether the marks are between 60 and 70 60 and less than 70 then it should give me the result here what first class please check all these brackets here whenever you are typing this is a very long formula and finally after this first class i have to check here distinction i put here comma again if function press tab and now again i write down here end function press tab and now i have to check here whether b12 is greater than equal to 70 comma the another logical is that is b12 is less than or equal to 100 bracket complete comma and now if the marks are greater than or equal to 70 and less than or equal to 100 then what should be the result here the result has to be distinction so here we have taken all these four things here all these four rules now suppose if the marks are not fulfilling any of these four criteria or any of these four rules then finally what should be the result here the result has to be invalid so after this distinction i put comma and i write down here in double quote invalid that's all either the marks will be less than zero or the marks will be greater than 100 so then after this distinction i put here comma and i write down in double quote invalid now the formula is ready but now we have, what we have to do we have to complete the bracket so i put here one cow bracket second cow bracket what i told you the rule for this uh, completing the bracket that the last cow bracket in the microsoft excel has to be always of black color so currently we are not getting the black color i put one more bracket here now you see that we are getting the black color bracket so now it is ready so remember that the outermost bracket in the microsoft excel has to always have the black color i press enter now somewhere some issue is there let us check it so friends here i identified the error so what is the error here that after this if function i forgot to write down here and function so this was missing over here in this condition between 60 to uh, 70 so now it should be complete now let me put here one more bracket so now we are getting the black color bracket i press enter and see now we are getting this answer so sometimes you have to check this thing that where you are going wrong so now here the distinction is written i drag the formula down so here the answer is same just like what we saw earlier now here let us check that error so instead of 85 i type here 185 press enter so now you see that i'm getting here invalid which is correct yeah because you cannot get 185 out of 100 and here we checked 
that instead of 35, if I type here minus 35 and press enter, so I'm getting here invalid. If I type here zero, then zero is fail. This is correct. You can get zero marks out of 100, but you cannot get negative. So I'll put here again, minus 35, press enter. So it is giving me invalid. So see, this is very, very important thing, this AND function. And we can use this AND function inside the IF function. We can also use the AND function inside IFS function also. So this is very, very important function here. And similarly, just like AND function, we are also having the OR function. In the OR function, suppose if we put the two conditions, then any of the condition has to be fulfilled but in the AND function both the condition has to be fulfilled so this is a very very good example of using the AND function inside the IF function so friends still we are having many other logical functions so see you in the next video thank you very much